Hello, welcome to this video. I want to discuss the best reward slash incentive system I have used in my art room. So when I started teaching, I was thinking about rewards because there's consequences, rewards, and I was thinking of some external rewards for my students. Like what could I give them to entice them to be good and do well. And I know that most people think like, well, art is the reward. They are rewarded by being able to create. Art is just all powerful and they will be good anyway. But that's not always true. Sometimes you really have to bribe them in. But it's not a bad thing. Sometimes it's good, it provides some positive reinforcement. So I was thinking of the things I could give my students. There's the usual like candy and I really didn't want to give candy my, to my students because candy is not great for you and it's also there's nothing it has nothing to do with art it's like it's totally a weird reward just like if you had a consequence to mop the floor if kids were being like the consequence doesn't match the action the reward does not match the positive reinforcement or the class so then I was thinking like a trinket box some people have treasure chests and that works for them and I kind of was collecting objects, but then I thought something a little more art related is stickers. Everybody loves stickers. Kids love stickers, high school students love stickers, adults love stickers, like water bottle stickers, big vinyl stickers, things that could stick anywhere. I love stickers. So I decided stickers would be the external reward. Now there's intrinsic rewards like the joy of painting art, but this is external rewards. And I found that what I do currently, people really enjoy. And even, even some of the other teachers are like, I wish I was in your class so I can get these rewards. Anyway, stickers. I went online and it's also kind of cheap. I went online and bought a bunch of stickers. You can get like a pack of 100 or 200 for $10. And I bought so many different kinds that I knew that kids would like. Like I bought some Fortnite stickers, Among Us stickers, uh, Minecraft. Uh, cartoons, video games, things that I knew kids would like. For instance, like, oh yeah, I have my Minecraft, Among Us. I have some Pokemon, all sorts of packs of stickers. Now, when I first started doing this with high school students, they enjoyed this too. They also like stickers. I just had a pile of stickers in a box and it wasn't the best. The reward was pretty good, but I would tell a kid that they could pick a sticker and they would go through the box and they would dig and dig and dig and it would take like hours. Okay, actually it took like two minutes at the end of class to find the single sticker that they liked. But they'd find one and they'd be like, well, what about this one? What about this one? Oh, there's another one. It was too hectic, too much for them just to dig through a pile. So I thought, how can I make this better so that they're not just digging at the end of the class time? Uh, one thing I did was first I organized them into categories. So I have my Pokemon. I have uh, you know, baggies of different stickers. And I guess they could take the baggie and dig through the one baggie. But that's also still more digging and time. So I came up with a better system. My current students all have iPads. So they have access to the world. I wanted to do something that they could use their iPads to find the stickers. So I came up with this um, system where I use Google Slides. I took a picture of all the sections of stickers on my floor or paper or whatever. I would lay them out, took a picture, and I would put it into a Google Slide. In the Google Slide, I would label each sticker with a code. So Among Us stickers would be A1, A2, A3, all the way to like A70. Mario stickers, I use Y for Yoshi, so Y1, Y2, Y3. And that way each sticker had its own uh, label or own code. So then after I had the Google site with all these stickers, I made it public to view and I put the link into a random QR code generator. So I got a QR code to my Google Slides like a website and I put it on an art coupon reward. So if a student gets this art coupon, I'll put their name on it and then I'll also put their class code on top so that way I know where to deliver the sticker to. I realized that after I had their name on it, I was like, wait, who is their teacher again? So I had to put their class code up there and then they get to go to that QR code. They look through the stickers and write the 
the sticker code here and give it back to me at any time. They could give it back to me that day. They could give it back to me in a week, in a month. It does not matter. So it would give this to me. I would find the sticker easily within like five minutes, deliver it to them or deliver it to them at the end of the day. There's no rush. It was not hectic. And then I would stick this on the wall to show that this person deserved their art star. They could get an art star for doing good behavior, helping a friend, making wonderful art. It doesn't matter. It's just a little bit of an incentive, something to uh, make them a little happy. So yes, that is the coupon. And I've really liked using these. So let me show you how it works with the iPad. So you take your iPad and you get to the camera app. The kid has their coupon and they scan the QR code. Open it up and a website will appear. It's not really a website, it's a viewable Google slide. And they can go through all of the stickers here and see what's available. It took a bit of time to take the pictures of these and label them all, but once it's done, it is done and it's amazing. When they pick their sticker, they come to me with their code, I get them their sticker, I mark sold. I go into my own Google slide folder or file and I go to the code and I hit sold. Obviously you can see some of these say sold on it. That way nobody is trying to buy the same thing again. I would definitely suggest a system like this, especially if your kids have iPads or if you have high school students and they have phones, they can also get to something like this. Very easy. It's a bit of work to set it up, but it is amazing once it's there. So good luck in your management and your rewards and your incentive things that you do in your classroom. Okay, <laughs> bye.